This is the follow-up video to my previous video on this backstein. You see a link below. Now I did some restoration work and I'm going to show you some interesting details about it. As you can see, the piano has been re strung. And here we see what I talked about last time between the pin block and the beginning of the strings. Now there is plenty of space. The old pins were totally deep in the wood. Uh, the new pins are uh, bigger. Uh, first the pin were 7 millimeters and there are 7.25 millimeters. So all these strings are new. The bass strings I didn't replace and I also didn't replace the pins. They hold enough and then um, if we replace them there's a very big chance of breaking some of these original bass strings which sound very well. Here we see the logo that's put on new. I show you how I do this. On Backstone you have this kind of stencil logo. It's original like this. So you can download this font on uh, Word or whatever you have. And then you, you cut it out on a foil. Then you can take it off. Then you put it on like this and then you can paint uh, through the hole. So this is, I think, the most original way to replace this number. Um, we had to replace this because the frame was repainted. Um, I just quickly show you something about the new paint. To paint the frame I use this metal powder and we have different colors here. This is kind of gold. But if you take this it looks a little bit uh, how would I say it's it's too much. Uh, here we have a bronze. Uh, this used for a Busendorfer, uh, and I usually mix some of them together. I have others here uh, to to match uh, the original color. And this powder then is just mixed with uh, shellac. Uh, here, just normal shellac, and then you have very a uh, nice lacquer that works and looks really well. In the last video I talked about the bridge pressure. It means about the height of about the string pressure on the soundboard. And uh, I show you what I did on this. Um, back side, here we have some uh, screws and below that there are metal. Uh, bolts that hold the plate on and when I screwed off the plate I realized that there's some tension here so I had to lower these anyway all of these and especially there was a screw it was too high this one and uh, so in a process of reducing the plate tension I had to lower it anyway and uh, this was exactly sufficient now we have on this critical point here, we have plenty of string of bridge pressure. So the problem has been solved. Perfect. Here we have more, of course, but that's normal. Then here on the bridge, you see they are now black. That's because I put on here some graphite. Um, this improves the movement of the strings here. It reduces the, um, the wear of the wood here. Um, and also it's easier to tune. So this is not much work, but it does a big effect. Then you see the soundboard has been repainted partially. Um, and also the old 
at here it looks much better uh, I show you how you can easily improve the old lacquer this old lacquer is on base of alcohol and it's, it stays soluble so what you can do is just take one of these fill in here some uh, alcohol just normal uh, you can use this also to clean or this normal alcohol and then you um, put here the soft um, installation and then you can just like this put a little bit on the whole um, surface not too much of course really not too much just a little bit and then the whole surface will start to shine and also the cracks that have appeared over the decades all of these cracks they just disappear and it really looks uh, very nice afterwards so instead of just totally repainting just put on some of this the result is really great so um, the client here didn't want a full restoration and so we can really do much improvement uh, with the low costs here. Here we see the ivory keys, they are perfectly white now. Uh, I bleached them with uh, H2O2. This is very easy, you just um, sand it a little bit with a thousand or two thousand paper. Then you put on H2O2 and put it in the sun for two, three hours. And then it's white. Afterwards, of course, we polish this um, to make it a smooth surface. The black keys also have been uh, repainted here with shellac, with black shellac. Then all the hinges and axes have been uh, lubricated with uh, Protec, not with oil or something. Really, no oil here. Please not. This will destroy the mechanic in the long run uh, protec is a lubrication with a teflon something high tech i don't know but it's a dry lubricant uh, that's uh, been applied also here and other um, places some of these axes have been uh, inches have been replaced as i showed you just this one for example was a little bit loose and um, here uh, I put on also uh, some graphite on the this um, part here. The hammer rolls are original. I had a little bit to, to sand here a little bit because they made some creaky noise. Um, but now they're perfect. Really don't hear anything. Also here, not, uh, not a big noise. Uh, the hammers have been refaced, uh, as I showed you, they were a little bit flat on the top. And uh, also I did some voicing, um, only some notes here, a little bit. Voicing. So, and uh, the regulation here. Uh, you see the spring has been strengthened, it comes up now fast. All the regulations have been done here. Uh, we still have the original rocker system. As I said, I really like this system. I don't see any problem with it. and uh, I don't think that it's worth to, to make the effort to change it. It's, it would be quite expensive to, to change this and the client is not interested in this. The dampers had to be taken off, of course, and back on. Uh, it's always a big work to to fit the dampers so they are living perfectly all together. And uh, but it's quite good now. Um, also, the aircraft has been polished. Um, but so I didn't have to completely um, take the piano apart and. Uh, we have very good result. As I said, the soundboard has no cracks. 
so I didn't have to repair this. Here we see the logo. As usually on bag stands, I uh, do this in real gold. Just because it looks nice and it's not such a big work. So uh, let's listen to the piano now. Here you see the new logo that will be put on the side. This is the modern actual logo, not the original, but in this case, it looks looks really great. Um, you, if you are pure, if you want totally original, you can take it off, but I like it. I do these logos myself. They are um, on a transfer sheet. Take this off. You see? The letters. Letter by letter. Then you put this um, transparent foil on the piano. Press it and remove this. And then you have just the letters and the sign here. Um, this gold color really looks nice. Uh, actually, I do these logos myself. I have a special uh, machine for this. Um, I used to order them in America, but first they was very expensive with the cost of the shipping and everything. And uh, sometimes they were good, but sometimes they really didn't look the way I wanted them to. So if you have, uh, <clears throat> if you need any logo of any kind, uh, you can write me, I can uh, do this for you. It's some work to, of course, to install it and to, to put it on and so, but uh, I can do this if you want. So now we can listen to the piano. I um, put on new strings, then I um, first tuned them on 440, then again on 440, then I had to um, push the strings down with this um, pizza wheel, uh, again on 443, then again with this wheel, then again on 443, and again on 443, so it was tuned many times. Um, and now with the, the strings are on for two days and uh, the tuning should be quite good, but I didn't retune it for this um, recording. So let's listen to it. 